happy New Year's Eve. It is New Year's Eve right now for me. Uh, by the time you're watching this, I don't know what time it is for you, but it is currently New Year's Eve, and I thought what a great way to end 2018 than a Q&A. Um, I've been getting a lot of um, requests to do another q and I think I did one at the beginning of this year, I want to say, but it has been a little bit and many things have changed now, so I am ready to answer all of your questions. And I have 19 questions to bring in 2019. As cheesy as that is. <laughs> um, so I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions and I picked out the ones that I think are the best to answer right now. So without further ado, sit back, get a snack, and chill with me on New Year's Eve. <laughs> I'm just gonna be home, <laughs> spending time with the family, and you guys are my family, of course, so I had to put some time aside for you. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, I have them written down right here in my notebook. I didn't answer any of them. <laughs> um, I just wrote them down. I didn't even think of the questions or the answers, so gonna be from the top of my head, so bear with me. Okay. <sighs> Number one. I hope my dog doesn't scratch at the door. <laughs> I don't know how quiet it's gonna be either because it's New Year's Eve. But, okay. If you were in a Scooby-Doo chase scene, which song would you choose to have played over I giggled at this one because I don't know the name of the song, but the first thing that came to my head was <laughs> the one that goes like da dee 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 do 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 dee da dee do dee 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 dee. Yeah, I want that one being played. Um, I think that's the perfect chase song for any moment and. <laughs> How it, how freaking funny would that be? Just da dee 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 do. That one I did answer in my head. Sorry, but that was number one. Number two. What is your real name? Uh, my real name is Louise. It's just my middle name, so... Um, <laughs> I ref I'm on here as Louise, so that is what I'm sticking to. Um, I mean, I've let my name slip many times. Like, it's not a secret, I guess. Um, but some of you don't know, but... I don't know, maybe... Maybe you can go figure that out on your own, but on here I am known as Louise. Number three. Are you planning to do more music related things in 2019? Yes, I do plan on it. Um, the only thing is, I mean, nothing is um, planned as of right now. Nothing is set in stone, but I do know that, um, me, and, like, myself, I do plan on actually just doing more singing-related videos in 2019, maybe not on this channel, but who knows, maybe a new channel will be popping up this next year, because I know I've talked about doing that for a while on this, on this channel, I've been saying, I want to make a 
<laughs> like another channel where I do a bunch of other stuff so <coughs> sorry so um yeah in 2019 be on the lookout for some more music stuff uh, I do sing so not many people know that because I haven't really dove deep into it but I do really want to focus more on music and singing in 2019. <laughs> Number four. What is something you want to accomplish in 2019? I wonder, wait. Oh, okay, answer this. Something I really want to accomplish is... That's hard because there's so much I want to accomplish. Um, right there. One thing I actually really want to accomplish is as as deep as this is, <laughs> I really want to um, heal myself and um, just take time to really get to know myself and get to know, I guess, the deeper side of things that maybe I haven't tapped into. Whether that's, you know, emotional, creative, or, you know, just stuff that I've been holding back and maybe not paying a enough attention to. Attention to. Um, I definitely really need to, I think, just be more in tune with myself and maybe not ignore myself as much as I did in 2018 and listen to myself and just heal the parts of me that I know need to be healed and need to be loved and comforted, um, which I think is a great thing to do any day, not even just for New Year's um, or like a New Year's Year resolution thing. Um, but I think that's definitely something I need to accomplish myself in 2019. So that'll be a journey and I'll be sure to update you guys on that because I don't hold back. <laughs> okay. That got deep, so let's go to number five. What has been your favorite role play to do? Wow, this one's hard because there were so many fun ones to film and you know even though I don't do maybe as many nowadays I know I've done a lot um, but one that I really actually enjoyed filming was I don't know the exact name of it but it was like a secret crush where it had it was like a four-part series and um, that was so much fun to film and it did really well and you guys enjoyed it and it was spooky and funny and just different and um, something I actually really want to do again maybe like a, a role play series so let me guys let me know if you guys like are interested in that and um, maybe I'll do that coming soon but that was my favorite one to film for sure Sorry, I am just, my eyebrows, I'm itching all over. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, number six. Ketchup and fries, dip or cover? <laughs> hmm. You see, this one's, <laughs> I used to be a cover girl. I know. I know, like, sometimes I actually really enjoy just drenching it um, all over the fries, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, it just gets soggy, it's not very good, so um, after a while, I just kind of dipped, and I've been dipping ever since. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> pretty straightforward. Number it is how old are you? I am 
20 years old, but I will be 21 on January 15th, so that's fun. Um, number eight, 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 eight. Who inspired you to do ASMR? Um, I know I've answered this a lot before, but for many of you who are new, um, I actually got into ASMR when I was really little, but I just didn't know what it was. And, um, there was this lady who I started watching, and she, I guess, was the first person that I knew actually did ASMR and I understood what it was and I knew what it was. And after watching her, I was like, I have to do it. Like, I have to try it. I have to, you know, at least try and see what this is all about. And that lovely lady was Gentle Whispering, um, Maria. And I've always loved her since, and I still watch her videos, and she's just everything I aspire to be. <laughs> um, and yeah, she's amazing, and I love her so, so, so much. Number nine, 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 nine. New Year resolution, resolutions. Ugh, to speak right. <laughs> resolutions. Hmm. <sighs> You know, I I have a lot, I have many that I want to say are my resolutions, but at the end of the day, I think my biggest resolution is to just be happy, <laughs> is to just, you know, take my time, just take my time on what I need to do, what I want to do, and like I said before, just heal and just... I think just start doing things that really make me happy. Um, yeah, and not really worry about anything for a while. Um, yeah, and just do, do me. Just focus on myself and do me and I feel like a lot of people say that but it's the truth, especially this year. Um, this year has been very different, very crazy and very up and down, sad and happy, so ending it, I know I need to spend this next coming year definitely taking time for me. And I'm very excited for that. <laughs> Number 10. Was there ever that one, was there ever that one video you always wanted to do but never got around to? Yes, unfortunately, especially this year. I I didn't film as much as I really wanted to, to be honest with you guys. I didn't. I had these on and off spurts of being productive and wanting to film, and then other times where it's like I didn't want to move, which is another reason why this year was just very up and down. Um in a lot of like unhealthy ways so unfortunately I didn't get around to a lot of things like um, there were so many role plays I wanted to do especially in the beginning of the year I wanted to do a police officer role play I wanted to do an Alice in Wonderland role play um, a sailor role play I think like I have a bunch and I still have all you know the props and the costumes that I'm that I want to do them with and so, just because they didn't happen this year doesn't mean they won't happen next year. Especially now that I said I'm gonna really buckle down and do what I need to do and what I want to do for me. And so, don't don't count me out just yet. I'm definitely still remembering all the things that I wanted to film and just didn't get around to. But life is not over. <laughs> We're still carrying on. Number 11, 11, 11. What's your zodiac? My zodiac? Zodiac? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's a zodiac? Of course. Uh, I'm a Capricorn. 
and I feel like not many people for some reason talk about Capricorn. Like, I kid you not, there has been so many, I don't know where it's been, maybe on like the, like the charts that show your zodiac, like on certain apps and stuff. Capricorn, I feel like, is always at the bottom, or it's just completely forgotten. <laughs> like, I don't see Capricorn sometimes, and I'm like, do I not exist? Am I not a thing? But I'm a Capricorn. And you know what? We're really underrated, so like, shout out to all my Capricorns out there, because we in this, and we really, we good, okay? We good. And number 12. Dogs are cats. Well, first of all, easy dogs. Speaking of dog, <laughs> my dog just loves to make a bunch of noise out there, but dogs 100%. And the next part of this question, I remember, um, he put, how were exams for you in high school? We don't talk about that, but now that you mention it, um, exams, certain subjects were a breeze for me, such as like English or, um, English. <laughs> just English and like other certain stuff like sometimes history was okay or science but um for the most part it, I don't really remember <laughs> doing exams as much I was a pretty average student when it came to exams um and tests and um just average I guess uh I didn't like school so fun fact Number 13, favorite music genre, and this will always be a changing answer, but right now I'm really into like chill electronic, I guess you can say, um, or like chill alternative, indie electronic, it's, it's a very interesting genre, <laughs> I can't, I can't really pinpoint exactly what it would be called but I have a couple artists that I just love so much and I actually got to see some of them a couple months ago in concert and it was amazing and yeah number 14 14 do you believe in aliens 100% 15 what was the funniest thing that happened this year in your life Um, you know, as morbid as this is going to sound, the funniest thing, it, and it, it's, it's funny, but it's not, that's why I'm saying it's not, like, the best answer, but I don't really want to look back on the year too much right now, um, the funniest thing was definitely feeling like I wasn't good enough, <laughs> um, and that's why I say it's funny, but it's not, because you should never feel that way and I felt not all the time not all year but there were definitely points in life where I felt like this year just like I wasn't good enough and I wasn't you know happy like I wasn't okay because I forgot my worth in a lot of ways and, um, it's funny because, holy crap, you should never feel that way, and everyone is amazing in their own way, and nothing and no one should ever make you feel like you're not, so that was definitely, definitely something that I just, I look back now and I'm just like, wow. Nope. <laughs> 16. Are your, oh, are eyebrows <laughs> considered facial hair? Yes. <laughs> yes. So now every time someone, you know, I see someone with facial hair, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I have some too. They're right here. <laughs> That'd be a great opener, a great line to start with. You're welcome. <laughs> 17. 17. 
Coke or Pepsi? Coke. <laughs> Coke. 18. Have you ever been to Canada? No, but that is my next road trip that I'm definitely going to be going on. Uh, I've been talking about it for years. I've always wanted to go to Canada. So, catch me in Canada in 2019, maybe. <laughs> and last but not least, number 19. How's life been for you so far? And I thought that one is a great one to end it on. Because that is something I am going to ask all of you, is how's life? <laughs> how's life? And I'm going to put this very simple, very sweet and short. Life has been everything. <laughs> it has been amazing. It has been horrible. It has been like life altering, life changing. <laughs> and devastating and every emotion I've ever felt and ever can feel that's how life is and that's what life has been and right now ending 2019 sitting here with you guys I just want to say that I am so blessed and thankful and happy that you guys are here and I am here with you and we've survived another year and um, whether you are ending it happily, whether you are ending it kind of sad, kind of mad, kind of excited, kind of bummed, um, I'm with you on all of those. And it is definitely okay to feel every single one of those emotions starting and ending a whole year. And um, this is going to be a whole new year whole new experiences, and a fresh start. So all I can say is thank you and I love you guys, and please spend this next year doing nothing but positive in your life and in other people's lives, and um, you know, take time to just enjoy, enjoy life, and know that everything in life is going to get better. It's going to get worse, it's going to be great, and it's going to be bad, but um, I think in the end everything will be worth it. Whatever the end is, whenever the end is, it'll be worth it. And make sure you spend your life and your new year in a positive, bright, great way. And that is all I hope for you guys. And thank you for being here and for answering, I mean, answering. I answered your questions. Thank you for asking them. And just leave below how life is going right now and just know that no matter how it is, that I hope that this next year is even better for you. So without further ado, happy new years and good night. Sleep tight and I will see you again next year next year. Great. <laughs>